up for sale today I have a beautiful 1990 Land Rover Defender 110 County Station Wagon 5 door with the 2.5 liter 200 TDI turbo diesel and the 5 speed LT77 manual trans. Now this is a UK import so it is right hand drive uh, but it is now located here in Michigan and comes with a clean clear Michigan title. It is painted in Byrett's blue as you can see it is very glossy and actually has a bit of metallic flake in it so it pops quite nicely. The original color was Arliss blue which was a bit lighter. Um, so the vehicle does have 206,000 miles on it but don't think for one second that this is a tired old Land Rover because the previous owner who purchased this four years ago performed a laundry list of maintenance and went above and beyond when it comes to preventative maintenance including a reconditioned 100,000 mile 200 TDI replacement engine. Now before they installed this engine they did a head gasket, a timing belt, a water pump, and a sump gasket. Also a exhaust system from the manifold all the way back. Also underneath the hood here we have a brand new clutch master cylinder and brake master cylinder along with radiator and intercooler hoses. Now the LT77 gearbox was also remanufactured and along with that they installed a discovery transfer case with the uh, genuine late type cross drilled main gear. So this thing is ready to go for many many more years. We also have galvanized front shock turrets, front brake calipers and pads were replaced, new springs all the way around and uh, we do have a set of Discovery 5 spoke alloys and a set of Insta Turbo Ranger tires. Now the doors do have a bit of corrosion on the bottoms um, and a little bit of rust on the uh, on the lower frames, which sadly is typical for most Land Rover Defenders, unless they've been completely restored top to bottom, which you will pay dearly for. Uh, the cappings, however, are in great shape. No rust on those. Looks like the rear driver side corner has suffered some damage, probably before they installed these bumperettes, which is what prevents that. We do have a new cross member in the back, which is a huge job out of the way because cross members are not fun to replace. Bench seats in the rear. Now the headliner is a bit saggy, but the material is in pretty decent shape, so it just needs to be re-glued. And that is a vinyl type of material, so it's easy to wipe down and keep clean. We do have a galvanized roof rack, full length with ladder. Again, the cappings on this side are beautiful as well. In the middle row, we have a set of Exmoor trim high back seats. A little bit of rust, passenger side rear door. And as well on the passenger side front door. But nothing too serious, I've definitely seen worse. Interior is nice and clean. We've got an AM FM stereo, center cubby box, sunroof, and the door is all shut nice and flush and square. We do have a snorkel for your river fording pleasure. Bulkhead corners are pretty decent, a little bit of a bubble there. Vents have had new seals, so they seal up quite nicely. Aftermarket winch bumper on the front. And again, bulkhead corner. Not too, too bad. There's a bubble right there. And now we'll start it up. And like I said, the vehicle has 206,000 miles on it as of... 2013 the vehicle had 191,000 miles on it the previous owner bought it in 2014 
or early 2015 um, and has owned it since then and performed all the maintenance after that. So it's safe to say that the engine that was put in here has only done about 10 to 12,000 miles on it since installed. So it runs like a top and I will show you. It starts up at the flick of a switch. Low fuel light comes on because we are low on fuel. Temperature gauge and voltage meter work. And it purrs like a kitten. Nice and clean oil. No blow by. And we've got zero smoke coming out of the tailpipe. So it runs superbly. Okay, so let's go for a ride. Again, it starts up at the flip of the button, no problem at all. Okay, so you're gonna have to forgive me, but it is almost 98 degrees out right now, and so I've got all the windows down because it's really hot out. So it might get a little noisy. Temperature is sitting right in the middle. Might be a little difficult to see. Turn signals are working. So I just want to show you a thorough video of the underside. And in my opinion, this frame is excellent and very clean. Now, normally I will power wash these off so that you can get a good idea of what's going on in here to get rid of all the mud and anything stuck to the frames. But in this case, it was not necessary. Uh, it's actually really super clean. So we got new springs and shocks and turrets up front on both sides. New brake calipers and pads, and you can see the seals on the swivels are doing their jobs, holding the oil in quite nicely, not leaking. And we do have poly bushings all the way around. They do have a coating of rust proofing on them, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, the bushings on the whole vehicle have been replaced. Nice solid metal on the front dumb iron bottom of the engine is nice and clean it has had a new sump gasket installed recently and like I said earlier on in the video discovery transfer case and recondition LT 77 in the bottoms of the frames I don't see any welds at all on the frame whatsoever it's all in great shape Nice solid metal all the way around on both sides. Now we have had the bulkhead front outriggers replaced 
and those were done professionally on both sides. We've got new prop shafts, front and rear. New brake calipers and pads. And most importantly, new rear cross member. All in great shape. 